guys, uh, Herf here. Another episode of uh, Pi World, uh, playing Minecraft Survival. Um, I just wanted to start off this episode with my, my feelings on dolphins. Uh, dolphins are jerks. Dolphins are jerks because, do you see them out there? Yeah, I'm trying to collect some of this sugar cane, and sometimes it drops in the water. And when it drops in the water, the jerky dolphins come over here and whack it around. And then Herf has to go swim in and chase it. Anyway, this is about, I don't know, third or fourth time that dolphins have just been mad annoying in, in, this, in this game. So, I, I, I am tongue-in-cheek, but yeah, dolphins are jerks. That, that's I just wanted to start with. One of them over here, this guy, guy that just jumped out over there, he, he had it... Um, a good ways out. He had like a, a chunk of 10 or 12 of my sugar cane. Um, so yeah, not cool, man. Not cool. Anyway, uh, we've made a, a few changes here since the last episode. Uh, I did some <clears throat> some sort of grinding off camera. We have uh, been collecting pumpkins. We've got a bunch more growing, but we've been collecting them, turning them into jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, so I've, I've lit up our little area here. Uh, all around, so we've got pumpkins everywhere. Uh, we've got almost fully grown two fields here of wheat, which is good. We've added uh, these um, sweet berry bushes that I found. Uh, I went, oh, I just got zapped by one. Okay, so they're pricker bushes. Uh, I found some over in the uh, the spruce forest there. Um, Decided to bring them over and plant them. Not really sure what they do, if I can eat them. They, they seem to work as a little bit of a defense, kind of like a cactus, I guess. But uh, they may be food, too. Maybe they feed certain creatures. I'm not really sure. I've also planted uh, a couple of small rows of netherwort here, because I want to get into uh, wizardry and alchemy. We want to get into um, making some potions. So... And that's kind of the goal here today. I also planted another big tree just because uh, I used a lot of wood uh, doing this. <clears throat> so I, I ducked my head into the nether. Uh, I AFK'd yesterday. I'm not sure what day that is for, for this video showing up on YouTube. But anyway, I AFK'd. Uh, it was my wife's birthday. I kind of forgot about... Um, Forgot about that I, I, I had stayed logged in. I was I was down in the basement here. Um, and I came back and it was daytime and everything was fine. And I, I poked my head through the nether. And uh, when I got in there, there was about four skeletons and a zombie or two and a creeper. And the creeper immediately blew up when he saw me. He didn't kill me. But I knocked out the portal, and he, anyway, he did some damage. You know, not that uh, there's nothing built for us in the in the Nether, but uh, he screwed up a lot of the Nether rack in there. Anyway, so I've got to go in and repair that at some point. But that prompted me to make this fence. Long story short, uh, short story long, I guess. So we have now fenced in the Nether and also decorated it handsomely with pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, and also. Um, <clears throat> We got a visit from the uh, the Humane Society, and apparently the pen I had uh, in, in keeping these cows in was was too uh, was too small. And, and honestly, I probably doubled or a little bit more than that the size of this thing, and, it, and it's still it's still too small. But uh, we need to harvest some of these guys uh, and get a bunch of um, a bunch of leather. So. Uh, I think that's about it. Also, I think I mentioned in an episode previously that I don't remember what I did with the uh, saplings that I had for, for birch. And, uh, yeah, I planted them. That's what I did with them. So, Herf is an idiot. And also, in, in reviewing some footage and editing, I, I, I can't even tell you how many math mistakes I've made. You know, calculating stacks of this. And, yeah, just, Herf is embarrassing. Anyway, um... There was one actual uh, uh, a pro tip. It's not really a pro tip. It's a pro tip coming from Herf, and Herf's not a pro. But uh, when you play Minecraft on the keyboard, the default movement key is W, right? So you go back and forth. W, S, W is forward, S is backwards. 
A is sideways, D is, is to the right. And the key to drop things, drop your highlighted item in your taskbar is Q, which is right next to W, which is what you're hitting all the time. So I started telling a story about how I was, I was in a boat and yeah. So I accidentally hit Q and threw, you know, the sword overboard. And this was before things floated in the water and it sank to the bottom of the ocean and it was too deep for me to go get. And it was a diamond sword. Um, the whole point of that story was that what I like to do when I start up the game is I remap that Q, remap, you know, the drop your item key over to P, which is at the exact opposite side of the keyboard and uh, far away from a key that you're going to hit by accident. So anyway, that was a little tiny bit of advice that I meant to give out in some other episode that uh, I, I, I caught my mistake while I was editing. So anyway, that's uh, that's the pro tip for the day. Also, I colored my bed blue. So we got a blue bed now. And yes, I did. I did actually um, set my respawn point before <laughs> anyone gets worried. So we are good. We can sleep here. Um, and I, I, I still haven't done the roof. And what I, what I realized is that, uh, oh, a couple more things. We also, um, I was running low on coal and I'll, I'm getting into that right here. So smooth stone, we have cooked two stacks of cobblestone. When you cook cobblestone, you get stone. And then when you cook stone a second time, you get smooth stone. So smooth stone is what I need to create smooth stone slabs. So I don't know exactly how many I need, so I'm gonna go with this. Empty that. So 32, yeah, we're probably going to need. Wait, one, one is to one? That doesn't seem right. I cut it in half and I get. Okay. Game's ripping us off. Anyway, let's see how this looks. <clears throat> this looks a little better here. We do, um, let's see. Can I, can I do this without. I don't want to have to break that. Okay, I back my butt up right to the glass. Yeah, I think that looks nicer, right? That looks nicer. That's just a little bit, little bit more elegant. Okay, so I'm going to go around and replace these. Probably replace uh, uh, these here in the back, and then put put some stuff up on the roof with with the smooth stone, because I just think that looks a little nicer. Anyway. I digress. So what I would like to do is uh, maybe I'll work on some of this and I'll bring you guys back. But uh, I I am also going to um, collect some leather off of camera so that we can uh, work on it. I believe I have enough. Let's see. Yeah, we have enough of our sugar cane to make paper. So what I want to do is collect the leather and then we'll make books and bookshelves and uh, an enchanting table. And then, uh, so we're going to get the enchanting stuff set up, and also I'm going to make, uh, I'm thinking about making a little jacuzzi over here, which will double as an endless water source. And we can make uh, a table over here that will, that will be uh, some brewing stands. So we can start to make potions and enchant things. And uh, so I will work on that and bring you back in a few minutes. We're back here. I believe we have the necessary, necessary, necessary stuff here to make um, to make us our enchanting room here. So let's. Uh, my inventory is kind of a mess here. <laughs> let's let's start with. Uh, let's see. We don't quite need all of these. I'm gonna go with about 48, maybe. Actually, we don't quite need those yet. Let's drag this. Uh, so this is going to be way too much paper, but 
it will do what we need it to do. So we will we'll make 48 books. Boom. Okay, we got a bunch of paper left over. Now, we need to grab... I usually use, I think it's 24 of these, because that, that gets us 16 here. Uh, we take our books. Sorry, I grabbed the paper. Now, technically you only need 15 of these. Sometimes I do 16 just to make it pretty, but I kind of want to keep these extra books for enchanting. And we're going to keep... Uh, okay, so we've got three extra books. Let's go place the bookshelf. So I made this little room here behind our ladder. We're just down underneath uh, the house here. So I dug out this little room. We're going to do our kind of standard... 10 against the back. So we've got uh, 15, right? So we've got two behind this, two behind that. And then we need to put a enchanting table down here. So let's make our enchanting table. I think I have everything. You need four obsidians. You need a couple of diamonds, which I've grabbed, and a book. And boom. You need to have one block of air between the bookshelves and your and your enchanting table. So there we go. We're set up to enchant. Um, I think what I want to do next is a brewing stand. So to do that, we need, let's see, probably need one of these. And I think we just need cobble. Oh, I think it's that easy. You make a brewing stand with one blazer out in cobble. And I think, uh, yeah, we have enough wood. Let's go make a table. So I wanted to put the brewing stand up over here. To do that, let's, um, this might be easier if I had some dirt and I don't have any dirt. You know, what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to drop these in here for now, but um, I think when we did the, when we unlocked the smooth stone, we may have unlocked a recipe for what I was looking for before, which is an upgraded uh, furnace. It's a blast furnace. So, yeah, I just, whoop, I just want to grab some dirt here. Dirt will make it a little bit easier to place the upside down stair which I want to make so we're going to use this to make some stairs if we place a dirt block right here and we can put this guy upside down at least this is how I learned how to do it maybe there's other ways I don't know okay now we just need a, well, we need a couple more, I guess. Don't need our dirt anymore. We just give one of these, boom. So now we get like a little table. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to take the Bruin stand. We're going to put the Bruin stand up on the table. <clears throat> now, do we have any glass left? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we do. Okay. And my inventory is still full. Okay, let's take this glass. I can dump that. We can get rid of some other stuff. But if you take the glass and you make like you would a bucket. Uh, we'll just do three for now because I don't have a ton of room for, for all these. I'll, I'll add a chest over here for things. Um, really what we should do, let's work on this. I forgot to build our jacuzzi. So what I'm thinking is that we take our smooth stone, we dig this out, then we dig out these four. We're going to put 
smooths don't like this. I'm digging with my bow. I have shovels around somewhere. But I've lost track. Oh, I think they're down in the basement. So, and then what I want to do is put. I'm going to put a couple of pumpkins down there for light. Oh, I think. Let's go grab a couple of pumpkins. Actually, you know what? No, I can't do all this yet. I need my shears, which I think are downstairs. Put the books up there for the moment. Let's grab our shears quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dump. I'm gonna have to dump some of this. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> I don't need the glass anymore. And oh, that should be good. We just need a couple of spots to uh, to hold things. So I'm just gonna boot, boot, make a couple of pumpkins, uh, a couple of carved pumpkins. And you take your carved pumpkins. Oh, are we gonna get dropped? It's hanging. Oh, sorry. Herf. We got herfed again. Okay, there we go. You have to do it with torches, not sticks, obviously. I knew that. Been doing it all day. So now... We put one thing of water in there. We run to the water frantically before night comes. Grab one more bucket. Woo! There we go. Okay, I must have placed them wrong. So now you've got an endless source of water right here. Plus, we have a cool jacuzzi. Maybe I could put some soul sand in there and, and we'll make some bubbles. Uh, but now we have the ability. Let's see if we can move a couple of things out of. All right. Well, I guess we don't really. Yeah, threw one in there. I don't know why that happened. So anyway, we got some water bottles, so we can start to enchant. Um, I mean, uh, well, we can enchant too, but we can start to make potions now. So I'm going to go ahead and work on uh, finishing off the roof here. I'm going to fix. I guess some of the stone and make it uh, a little bit more pretty with this stuff and uh, again in a few minutes hey guys uh, we're back here it looks like um, I think morning is just happening it looks like we got the roof on just in time uh, it's kind of a nasty tea storm here um, so I got the things replaced uh, we've got our um, we've got our roof complete i think i am going to make a a ladder up to the roof and maybe we'll make a, a spot we can sit up in the rain and watch things or something but um i think we're we're ready to go uh we are ready to brew uh in order to brew uh, i need some uh, we definitely want some of the the magma cream from the magma cubes and we also need some more experience here we're only at level 21 so we need to figure a way to 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 crank up an easy way I know is to go mine uh, some of the nether blocks, uh, nether quartz. I'm not sure how the you know the newer um, ore is, but we can certainly go do some uh, some quartz gathering in the nether. There's plenty of things to kill out in the nether too, so we can go uh, maybe crank up our levels out there and uh, get something enchanted, you know, sword, a pickaxe, something like that, and get ourselves started. So. Um, I think uh, we're going to call it an episode here. We finished uh, a lot of stuff today. We got a lot of sort of uh, sort of 
pedestrian type things you know completed here so um we're gonna we're gonna take another reach we're gonna go kill stuff we're gonna go mine for stuff with the nether so next episode should be a bit exciting probably gonna die a few times hopefully we don't lose anything good but uh we'll catch you next time uh thanks for watching uh give us a like if you enjoy what we're doing and uh subscribe if you haven't appreciate it it really would help us out thanks so much we'll see you in the next one bye guys